Hey everyone, this is just a video to show you how I set up my troll brew table from Brew Tools and how I configured my valves uh, on the B80 Pro. The first thing you'll notice about this table is the incredibly high quality of the materials they use to build it. Uh, the pure blast finish is really something, and um, it really gives it a premium feel. I've added this wire grid to the side of my table to create a little bit of extra storage space. So my valve setup is a bit unconventional and I hope to explain it a little bit more today. It is made up mostly of butterfly valves and various piping and uh, it goes down to the chiller which I've opted to hang underneath the system. And I've added a butterfly valve to the in of that and for the out a three-way valve from under the B80. This, the handle gives me a little bit better reachability during brew days. So instead of the work coming in the back and going in, I've decided to bring everything to the front so we can see everything going on and where it travels. This first configuration is the configuration of valves for recirculation and the whirlpool around the basket. With this configuration, I'll push water from the HLT into the system and I'll regulate the flow with the handle here. The configuration of valves here is for the whirlpool after the boil. Now we go into the configuration for chilling. It goes down into the counterflow chiller and indicated by the blue is the colder wort coming in to the kettle via a T piece behind the butterfly valve. This bottom valve here is used for transferring to the fermenter. I'm a really big fan of the boom and I'm a really big fan of the design and the simplicity. Um, the only thing I'm not a fan of is the winch doesn't lock on the way down. So I'm a little bit curious to see how that's gonna go with a full basket. Uh, the extended foot seems to balance out the 
table pretty well. I hung from the boom and it held up pretty good. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna be using a uh, Mini Uni 30 as my HLT as well. And I'm just gonna use a Blickman Riptide for now to uh, transfer the HLT water through to the system.